Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to do some cubing. Uh, I found some extra money lying around that I got given, so I decided uh, to take advantage of the cubing sale that goes until the end of the month on a uh, on the super cubes and enlightening cubes. So I figure I did 75k, so I've got enough for 10 super cubes and 30 enlightening cubes. So I figure we'll just um, see how we go on the shoulder pad, and then uh, we'll see what we work on from then onwards. So, yep. Um, basically, my thinking behind this is I want to keep the pants, but before doing that, I want to um, actually... Uh, get a replacement stat for um, the 15% all stat that I'm going to lose on my uh, overall uh, since you know putting the pants on I probably well I'm not sure it'll come down to luck whether I can get uh, some HP on those pants with dex or not but really I'll be losing that 15% so I just kind of want to want to slide you know this shoulder pad in with you know nine or however many uh, we can get on it, uh, just so. Uh, oops, why am I using a lightning cube? Yeah, so basically, uh, just doing a, a swap, basically uh, getting this dex for that dex. It may or may not be the same amount. Just gotta see how we go. Yeah, unique. Um, so I plan on using at least you know, these cubes on you know, this item. Uh, if we get something good before the end of it, I'll move on to the uh, secondary weapon, and then I'll probably move on to the pants, or well, depending on how many we have left, uh, I might just see how we go. But really, I'm looking for 9, 12, 15, well, anything that I can really get on the shoulder pad. I can always go back to working on it later, but really, the aim of getting... Did I just use the lightning cube on it? I think I did. 9% dex. Yeah, why don't we just leave it at that? Because really, um, I'll spend more time on it later, but I could spend the rest and not get anything good or, you know, cube several items and get a few good stats. You know, I know that it won't really do anything to my damage now, but when they raise the damage cap, it'll all uh, show through then. So, yeah. And then if we get something good here, like... 30% boss damage or something like that, and then, or 20, 20, or whatever comes with it. Uh, we'll leave it at that and move on to the pants, of course. So, into the enlightening cubes. But yeah, so, when the sale came up, I figured, well, why don't I just, you know, do some cubing now, when there's a sale on, like some of you said, you know, like, if you're going to stick to a budget, then why don't you just do that? only cube when there's a sale on, and really it was 30% off both, coming with uh, Scissors of Karma, both Platinum and Normal, so yeah, it was a worthwhile thing to do, it's just about getting this thing above Epic at the moment. Uh, 6%, no, I either want percent attack with boss damage or total damage, you know, or, yeah, yeah, so, uh, either 20 or 30 percent boss on it would be good, uh, just to replace what I'm losing for the time being with the Empress set being, uh, not completely there, so, yeah, 
Now the 90% dex isn't too bad to get on the shoulder pad again. I'll focus on all these things individually later, but it's all just about getting, building up stats. Like you would do if you were, you know, starting from the ground up. You know, you'd only go for minor stats while you've got a lot of gear to work on, and then later on when you've got less things to focus on, you can work on getting uh, higher stats in each thing. Because really going for, you know, 12%, uh, which only comes in legendary, I believe. So like working towards legendary to try and get that 12%, and it's only 3% more. So I've really gained a lot from that 9% already. Uh, so yeah, uh, come on, go unique. <laughs> but yeah, I used a just as a side thing, I used a 50% um, uh, hammer on it, and I didn't realize that when it fails, it will add a, it'll take out one of the slots anyway. Yeah, unique. Uh, so, yeah, I wasn't thinking that it, if it failed, it would um, waste a slot. So I'll, I'll definitely have to innocent scroll this, depending on what the last slot gives me, like if I use a, a scroll and it'll give me, you know, another 4 attack and puts it to 12, or 5 attack and puts it to 13, then I might think about just keeping it, you know, spending a little bit more money to get that much more attack. I'm not really uh, looking, like, having more attack on it is good, but I can always uh, go back to it later uh, if I really wanted to. <laughs> So, yeah, it's just really, I want to start, well, I bought them so I could wear them, so I'd really just like to not have them, uh, you know, unequipped. Uh, they are tradable at the moment, that's why I keep them locked, unless I'm going to be working on them. So, yeah, it's just, uh, I'd really like to just equip them and be able to lock them then, and then know that they're actually really secure. So, yeah. As much as I would like to get good attack on it. Uh, yeah, 20% boss. Many cubes do I have left? 11. Yeah, let's just keep that for now, and then we'll just move on to the pants. Just to see where we can get them. They got 9% strength on them at the moment, but really, when you have pants, there's only one real thing you want on them. And I'm really um, interested to see whether uh, Whaler's Potion, the uh, hyper skill that uh, increases your HP by 40% stacks with HP, that'd be really cool if it did. Yeah, my inside level. So yeah, I'll if another sale comes out next month, which it probably will, uh, I'll I'll definitely do more cubing. Uh, it'll be really difficult with the pants because I'll be wanting dex and HP, but it probably won't happen in that combination uh, unless I get it to legendary and do a lot of cubing. But we'll see. Yeah, I might just have to go for dex on the uh, extra uh, potential slots. You know, like another five. Okay, so HB. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to equip them. I know some people are going to say why you could trade them around, but really I've got the uh, goodness scrolls on here. I don't have any uh, around on other characters, and I really don't want to use other people's. So let's just uh, equip them. Yeah, let's equip my range goes down a bit because yeah I'm losing that and I, I lost the uh, plus 20 all stat as well so uh, yeah let's just see what happens Ah, huh, 
it does stack. That's cool. Now that's a decent amount of uh, health. So, Whaler's Potion increases it by 40%, as I said, I believe. Let's see. Yep, 40%. And then uh, HP also does 40%. So, it's good that it stacks. damage as it is to be able to, you know, hit above uh, cap, so, hey, look at that, uh, okay, Yeah, let's just keep that for now because that puts my range better to where it was. Cool. So, yeah, um, I'll probably next time I've got a lot of cubes, I'll I'll work on that to uh, get it. Yeah, to boss damage, but really 9% on there, 9% plus another 9% attack, that's good, and uh, yeah, um, HP on here, with, you know, strength and MP, so that's you know, sort of helpful, but the really thing that I'm happy for is that it stacks these two uh, HP skills, so uh, yeah, that really um, would help me out in situations against, you know, hard-hitting bosses, uh, even though, you know, the potion pot really helps me as well, but, yeah, that's, uh, really, uh, beneficial, so, uh, that's all from me, uh, I got that one last random cube, I'm not sure what I should use it on, um, have I got anything that's, mm. uh, well done, Cammy, no score, uh, Nah, let's just hold on to it because it's you know, expire next month. I'll probably have something to use on by then. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, see ya.